Okay, here's a close-up of the machining of the side where the piston pin retainers go. Um, we're going to try to reuse these pistons. We drilled them and pulled them out. I'll show you the measurements on them here in a second. But you can see there's two machined areas. There's this area here where the retainer sets and then there's a little ledge. And where all of ours were pushed in, they were pretty clean. We had some galling on some uh, on some of them. Uh, but you could tell that when they had pushed them in at the factory, it pushed it down and the, the extra material laid right in here behind it. Um, smoothed all that out. I don't know. We're going to try to reuse these. A lot of folks said we couldn't get them resealed. I don't know if people had discovered this issue with the galling that I'm talking about, but I'm going to document what we did in case it works. The uh, actual machined edge, I believe, runs the same diameter on this portion of the cut, but as it goes into the deeper portion of the cut, you can still see the ledge. Now, let me zoom out here a minute. I think a lot of people think that you have to dent or crease these, but I believe it's all spring steel. Um, the side pressure, I believe, is what holds them in, so if you crease it, you're not going to have any side pressure. Uh, we're going to try to install these and, and we're going to try Arbor Press, see how that goes, because in reality, you just need to deflect this. All of the measurements of the ledge from all the pistons we got comes out to about seven thousandths less than a new one. Um, so, you know, there's going to be a 7,000th press, but it's really a spring. All of the ledges that I've measured, the six I've measured, are 1.600, I think what they were shooting for. Some of them, some of them were 1.599, the best I can measure, it's a small ledge. But if you take a look at a new one, 1.607, 1.606, I believe they're shooting for probably seven and a half thou right there but um the ones i've measured all measured consistently like that here's one we took out we drilled it and tried not to really uh, tried not to uh damage it as we pulled it out by pulling it straight out and you can see there there is some d denting where we pulled it out but um for most intents and purposes it sprung right back to where it was so you know most, I'll, I'll measure all the rest of them, but the two I've measured are one, 1.607. And so I, I, it's, it's sprung. So I believe if you, if you press this in and you look in and you see a crease in, in the one you press in, I believe that um, you've screwed up. Um, so we're gonna try to press these in with the Arbor Press. I'm not sure how they did it in the factory. Everybody seems to do it with a hammer uh, with, with, when they put new ones in. But I have a feeling all we really need to do is deflect this enough to get to shrink that seven thousandths. So it's pretty hard press, but this is spring steel, so it's not really a press fit. And uh, we we need to basically dent it down inside of the hole far enough to sh sh cup this, deflect it seven thousandths. And I think if we use an arbor press, we can go a little slower and be a little more metered than using a hammer. Uh, well, I'll post results of that. It might be a total flop and we might go to the hammer, but we're going to shoot for the arbor press first. Okay, we did one with the arbor press and we'll, I'll videotape the other one. And uh, just to show you, here's the stock side. We only busted one side out. And you can see a little bit of the rim, a little bit of the shelf that's supposed to be on there. Okay, so now let's take a look at the side we just did. And it does pass the vacuum test. You can see the shelf around there. You can see it's got a nice dish to it. We measured the best we can and it appears to be just as deep. And it did seal. All of that galling that uh, we talked about, I tried to clean out the best I could. I'll, sh I'll show you the video, a video of us vacuum testing most of them here in just a minute, but this one passes just fine.
both sides go okay. Okay, here's one of the sides we just did. You can see it's pretty solid. So we dropped it down in. I'm going to push it to the shoulder. Okay, there's piston one, side we did. All right, take out, check out piston two. This is a stock side, so it'll give us a good control. This vacuum gauge isn't perfect. You see very slowly dropping down. Let's do the side we did now. We've got it oiled up. All right. And here's the that's piston two. Piston three. Stock sides. Take a look at the side we did. See here, piston four. All right, piston five. We we'll need some more oil, probably. Let's check our side here. This is piston six. 